how can we clear up the $31 trillion debt? They're adding on more than a trillion dollars every year. I mean, this is what this debt ceiling debate's all about. They're saying we need to raise the debt ceiling again so we can keep adding on to this debt. This is a game that cannot go on forever. Uh, at some point, there's going to be a day of reckoning. And we learn this from like Greece. Uh, Greece did this. And uh, ultimately, they got to a point where their tax revenues were not sufficient to even cover the interest payments on their debt, much less all the welfare state expenditures they had. That's the day of reckoning we're headed toward. Now, we don't know. We can't predict when that's going to happen. All we can say is it's going to happen at some point. What is the solution? Why aren't politicians aware of this very obvious truth? Well, they are aware of it, but it's too difficult because the constituents that are demanding the largesse do not want to let go of the largesse. And, and politicians like to keep constituents happy because that's where they get their votes. So it's always easy to say, well, instead of raising taxes to cover all these this largesse, let's just go ahead and keep borrowing the money. And, uh, of course, the idea is let's transfer it to younger people. There, there's a lot of people in their 70s and 80s that are saying, well, I'll die before we have to pay off this debt. So what if it goes on to my children and grandchildren? Well, that's a really bad attitude. Uh, but take the military. The military expenditures are now up to over $800 billion dollars. Uh, they don't want to let go of their large yes. They, they, they are a permanent fixture, at least as far as they're concerned, in American life, and they're not going to let go of theirs. Social Security recipients, Medicare recipients, food stamp, all the welfare state people, they're not going to let go of their large yes. So you've got this real problem here where the people that are receiving all of these trillions of dollars in government largesse do not want to let go of it. The politicians do not want to anger them. They want to keep giving out their candy there. Uh, where, how, does this, how does this get reconciled? Well, they're, getting, they're, they're reconciled it by just saying, let's just keep borrowing. Let's just keep borrowing. And then there's the Federal Reserve aspect of all this, too. The job of the Federal Reserve is to pay off that debt in printed money. Uh, I mean, that's why the Federal Reserve was established. That's why the purchasing power of the dollar has, has plummeted ever since the Federal Reserve was established. Well, they're raising interest rates right now because they've seen what they've done with prices. And when they raise the interest rates, that increases the, the problem for the government paying interest on its national debt. Uh, so what does the Fed do now? If they lower interest rates to make the debt cheaper, the interest payments cheaper for the government... Now we're going to have to see uh, prices start flying through the roof again. So you're re they're really stuck at this point, and, and I don't know how they're going to get out of it. It's, uh, it's kind of like we're living in some very interesting times here. I'm sure there'll be some kind of creative solution that will be more financial wizardry of legal fictions or whatever it takes to make sure that this doesn't turn into a grease situation. I, I, absolutely. I mean, they're doing that right now because the, the debt ceiling has been reached. You see, a debt ceiling is an acknowledgement that too much debt is, is a bad thing. And, and that's a, a congressional acknowledgement, which is quite phenomenal for them to acknowledge that too much debt is a very dangerous thing. But the fact is, every time they reach the ceiling, they say, well, let's raise it again so we can add more to it. And then as soon as they raise the ceiling... They Nobody says, hey, we need to prepare for the next ceiling. We need to start slashing expenditures. They just go on as business as usual. And this is the mainstream press's attitude, too. They they go into all this stuff about, oh, there will be a default on the debt and so forth. you got to raise the debt ceiling. But as soon as the debt ceiling is raised, it's all back to government as, as usual. But So you're right. They will in, try to engage in wizardry. But that can only go on for so long. There, there is no way that a nation can continue borrowing itself rich. At some point, the day of reckoning comes. Now, we're a very productive nation. There's a lot of wealth in this nation. Uh, unlike Greece, uh, their, their base of support isn't as large as it is here. But it doesn't matter. The principles are universal. You borrow, you go into debt to such a large extent, at some point, the day of reckoning comes. Now, at that point, the government's going to be voracious, and everybody needs to understand that. When the government needs money, 
It's going to do whatever it is necessary to get that money. That's why Biden just is hiring those 80-something thousand IRS agents. They need money bad. They're, they're squeezing everybody they can. They're out seizing uh, yachts from Russians, multi-million dollar yachts. They're getting money everywhere they can. And make no mistake about it, a, a good, ripe cherry for them to, to snatch um, our, our retirement accounts, uh, IRA accounts, 401ks and so forth. I mean, this is what the Argentine government did when it was needing money. And uh, don't forget that the government seized everybody's gold back in the 1930s. So there's, there's actual precedent for sealing, seizing people's assets and replacing them with irredeemable bonds or, you know, that, that don't promise to pay anything like gold or silver, just, uh, just paper money, more paper. Uh, so, yeah, you're right. They will engage in wizardry, but at some point, it's going to come to a head. I meant that they're going to have some kind of better solution, like some kind of program to lessen the debt over time with slashing certain expenditures, some kind of program to increase revenue. And they're, like you said, too many interests here at stake for someone to allow the dollar to just absolutely default. Well, it doesn't really need to be a default. I mean, they, they you know, it, it, what the Republicans ought to do is really stick with the, the debt ceiling and say, we're not going to compromise at all. You know, all they're saying is, well, we want a deal where you're going to agree to cut some federal expenditures. And yeah, they'll come up with some kind of deal if they do. Over the next 10 years, we'll gradually cut government expenditures. This is ridiculous. What they, they have a perfect opportunity right now for a balanced budget by sticking with the debt ceiling. Because if you stick with the debt ceiling, all that's saying is, is no new debt, no new borrowing, which means tax revenues have to equal tax expenditures. Well, that means they have to do some major slashing, but they don't have to default on the debt. They can slash welfare state expenditures. There, there's no, a, a, a debt is a contract. There's no question about that. Welfare entitlement programs are not contracts. They're just welfare programs, so they could slash Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, um, all the all the uh, grants that they give out to other to, to groups. They could slash foreign aid, close military bases. I mean, look, we've got like 500 military bases here. Uh, we've got like seven or 800 in overseas. Just close those bases. What are they good for? What What are they doing for America? In fact, they're actually very destructive for America. Lay off all those soldiers. Uh, put them in the private sector, in the productive sector. Uh, that's what they could be doing. Um, but they may come up with this, these little schemes that you're, that you're describing here. Say, well, over the next 10 years, we're going to cut government spending. But it's all nonsense because it's clear that they're not serious about it. Well, I hope someone knocks some sense into them. 